shit out of here. I wear it strap to work. Get ink on it. I'm not on creep. Hanging in my wheel. So I'm going to get a shit out of here. I'm going to make my way in. She said, hear me, so I'm heading back down. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, my brewing brothers and sisters. Cheers. It's a pint of Bucky the Axeman, the uh, Citra Mosaic Smizash. Smash? Smadge that I made uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe three weeks ago. And honestly, for all the hops that went into it, it's fine. You can smell it. It's, it's it's fine. It's an it's an IPA, but it's not big citra. It's not big mosaic. It's not big tropical fruit. It's not exactly what I wanted. The bitterness is good, maybe just a just a tick high, uh, but really I'm not getting the hops out of it like I wanted to. So I get to thinking. I'm a home brewer. I don't want beer on tap. That's just. Eh, it's fine. I don't want to have to apologize for my beer when I serve it to people. So I think I could pour this out. I've poured beers out before. Totally could pour this beer out. But it's not that bad. It's really kind of nondescript hoppy, but on the back end you get a, a distinct grapefruit rind thing that's happening. Which makes me think of the, the, the Ballast Point Grapefruit IPA. This is not on that level. But I think I can suffer through this keg, or I can try and tweak it. Do something out of the ordinary. Why not make it a Grapefruit IPA then? So here I have one grapefruit, fresh squeezed, ran through a uh, just a little mesh strainer to pull out the uh, just the pulp and stuff. Mm, delicious grapefruit, bitter at the end, tart. What if these two got married? I'm a home brewer. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Cheers, kids. As you can see, this is super scientific. But if it works out well, I think I'm going to dose the entire keg. Which, I mean, there's probably three and a half gallons left in the keg, maybe. Um, so I'll give it a shot. Why not? What do we have to lose? Get a little more grapefruit on the nose, which you would think. Ooh. Okay. Flavor wise, it, it really, the, the sweetness of the grapefruit juice whoop, rounds the whole thing out. Kind of like, I know Sam Larkman knows what, what, what that means. I instantly like this beer a lot better. I'm a grapefruit kid, I eat grapefruits. Like an, like an 80 year old man does. My grandpa always ate grapefruit when I was a kid, but he would slather it in French dressing. Which was really the most disgusting thing in the world to me, but... Give me a, give me a grapefruit, no sugar, cut it up, I'll eat one every morning. Some on my nose. But right there, whatever that is, that's half an inch, not even. Three-eighths of an inch in this pint, which works out to roughly six grapefruits for the rest of this keg, maybe. It smells good. Yes, sir. That that's a tasty beverage. 
it kind of looks like hell because there's still some shit floating in it from the from the grapefruit. To be honest, I might not care. Because it tastes amazing. Just enough malt to hold up the grapefruit. The grapefruit brings the sweetness to balance that, that just slightly over bitterness. The nose is fresh, fresh grapefruit, not hoppy grapefruit. Grapefruit, grapefruit. That's a thing. That's a, that's a delicious thing. That's going to happen. For sure that's going to happen. To the store tomorrow for grapefruits. Damn. Homebrewers. We're the greatest. Seriously. Beautiful day outside. It's running this in before sunset. You can hear the birds. I love it here. Delicious beer. Out on the brew patio. Cheers to life as a home brewer, kids. Cheers to being a home brewer. Cheers to making a call. Thinking, am I proud of this? Yeah, it's a good beer. It's better than a lot of commercial IPAs out there. But is it an IPA that I want to drink every day? No. But I can make it that way. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Happy Grapefruit IPA Day. Yandu, kids. Yandu. Cheers.